So when we're dealing with natural numbers, um, a really good way to represent natural numbers is this thing that's called a number line. So if we take this series of natural numbers here, so we've one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what we can do is we can represent those on a number line. Now, as you can see here, so what we do is we have this line here, and then we have an arrow that's pointing in this direction. And basically what that's indicating is that the line goes indefinitely or forever or to infinity in this direction here. So the other thing to notice as well is that we place the, so each of these red dots represents one of the numbers from this particular sequence. And we place them at equal distances apart from each other on the number line. So again, this is very useful, so it is to think about. So for example, as we move across the number line, we're increasing, in this case, by one. So these are consecutive uh, natural numbers. And again, we can see that the natural numbers here are made up of, like some are odd, number, odd natural numbers, some are even natural numbers. So that's basically the number line. And again, this is useful then later on when we start to add and subtract numbers as well. So we can, we can think about this number line and how we're moving back and forth on the number line. When we're adding, we're moving forward on the number line. So for example, if we wanted to add two plus two, okay, we start at two. If we add two, we go one, two, and we end up here on four. And likewise, so again, if we're adding, we're moving to the, to the right on the number line. If we're subtracting, we're moving to the left on the number line. So again, so just so addition. From so if we take so addition, for example, if we add, let me just click on this. So if we add, for example, we're moving right on the number line. So let me just so if we add, for example, we're moving this way on the number line. And if we subtract, we're moving this way on the number line. So just some simple examples of that. So if we take, so for example, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. But a way to kind of visualize that in your mind's eye is to think about, so the number on the left is where we start. So we start here on 2. And then because we're adding, we're moving to the right on the number line and we're going two places. So we start here and then we go 1 two and we end up here on four. Similarly, if we were to say something like this, so six minus two is equal to four. So again, how does that work? So again, six minus two, we start here at six and because we're minusing, we're moving to the right. And this tells us we're moving two places to the right. So we start at six and we go one, two and we end up here on four so again that's just a quick introduction to the number line and just some of the ways that it can be useful it's a useful way to think about these natural numbers um, or county numbers as we refer to them before